Right, so a two minute review of the long way uh, 30 volt DC, 10 amp uh, output. Uh, tiny little rig. Uh, it's a switching mode power supply as opposed to, opposed to a linear one. That's how they can get the uh, compact design. Air cooled, fan cooled as you can see. Forced air cooled with a fan in the back. Um, speak to that in a moment and uh, in just a minute. Uh, but just uh, I've already done the comparison uh, from zero up to the 30 32 volt range uh, with respect to how accurate the voltage was 0.1 across the board no point in me showing it to you take my word for it people and you can see here I've currently got a load on it of um, it's actually a tail light brake light assembly from the SX4 uh, I've got both filaments actually active at the moment here's the specs on the lamp I hope you can uh, see them there 13 at 13.5 volts there's a 25 volt, uh, 25 uh, watt filament and a 5.9 watt filament for a total of uh, 30 point, sorry, for a total of uh, 30 point, uh, 9 watts, of course. So let's just quickly do the math. You can see that the current is actually extremely accurate as well, uh, at least at this uh, end of the range. So last time I checked, power is uh, current times volts. So we've got 2.2 amps, 13.5. So pretty much bang on, right? So there's a 30 watt load on it. It's just cycling the uh, fan on and off. Um, not too bad, you can hear it, but it's not too, too loud, not too annoying. So uh, yeah, great wee rig. Uh, current and voltage uh, limited, whatever you choose. I'll just turn down the uh, the current setting here, you can see that it's kicked in into the current limiting mode. And if I crank, up, crank it up, it goes back to the voltage. So, yeah, really happy with it. Um, I don't want to drag this out because I tend to bore people with the details. Um, this is pretty much useless. It's uh, Chinglish, really. The specs on it are, you know, they are what they are. Um, you're not going to be building satellites with it anytime soon with the accuracy of the rig, but. Hey, I just want to test a few uh, automotive components on the bench for time to time. I'm really happy with it. How much? $67 Canadian delivered to my door. What's that? $50 American or something? Unbelievable. How do you build a unit like this for that kind of money? People grossly oversimplify the discussion and say, well, it's cheap labor. Cheap labor. You should see the complexity of the board in here. I already opened it. It's fiendishly complicated. Great wee rig, I'm really happy with it. Um, there was one wee issue. Okay, so I had to interrupt my filming here for just a second because I had the distinct odor of overheating electronics coming my way. And I noticed the fan wasn't actually operating. You can hear it's operating now. But actually, I had to actually unstick the fan and I really don't know what it was. I, had to, I just put the probe in here, just rotated the fan and then the fan took off, because it, but it was actually physically stuck. And, uh, and three times the rig actually shut down, clearly it had hit the, its thermal limits somewhere internal in the unit and, uh, and actually shut down three times. And then that's when I put two and two together, the fan should have been running, and in fact it wasn't. But anyway, seems to be good now. <laughs> Right, so that's it, boys. Uh, I'll leave it at that, make this one brief. Um, I should mention briefly, uh, thank you very much to everybody who's uh, a new subscriber to the channel. Um, if you came my way in directly through uh, the prodding of uh, Dave Sterling, uh, Dave Sterling, you may know him as his, uh, his YouTube handle, and uh, Steve, the Englishman for uh, Simply Diagnostics, of course, his site. Um, greatly appreciated. Uh, Certainly Dave and indirectly as Steve, I guess. So uh, thanks very much and uh, we'll see you next time boys. Cheers